I'm on the one. Mm -hmm. I'm on. So this is Dr. Moore here taking care of one of my favorite patients here. We're going to uh, aspirate his post-surgical effusion. I'm going to guess it's either, there's most, it's most likely going to be blood because it'll be just operated on him. Lateral release was done to improve patella mechanics. And, and as, as, uh, as what occurs in many cases of lateral release, there's post-surgical swelling. And, and unfortunately, sometimes all this swelling slows down the recovery process and it's quite uncomfortable. So this is what I do. I already palpated it. That's going to be my spot. I'm going to use a tiny little 27 gauge needle, which is very fine and usually doesn't cause problems. Inject the skin and the tissue just under the skin. Are you doing okay so far? Yeah. Good. Awesome. So sometimes the, this lidocaine 1% stings it a little bit. Once again, I'm using a 27 gauge needle, which people normally can hardly feel. While I'm doing this, I'm also feeling my patella, making sure that I'm in the right spot. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go a little deeper. I'm also using it to make sure that I'm in the right plane, which it feels like I am. So I'm going to go ahead and take this syringe off and just keep that there so that it will help me with trajectory for step number two. And step number two is switch it over to a slightly higher caliber needle. So I'm going to start with a 22 because oftentimes the blood does not get through a 27. So we switch it over to a 22. And as I'm doing this, I'm letting the lidocaine work. That's why I did that. And that's why I'm taking my time right now. I get my ultrasound ready. Once again, do my trajectory. I remove it. I keep my eye on the ball. Okay, there it is. Once again, right there, a little distraction for him. You still okay? Yeah. Good. So then we go like this. And uh, at this point, I really don't need to use the ultrasound because as you can see, I'm already aspirating some fluid here. There's some, there it is, it's, it's blood. It's coming out slow. It's coming out slow because it's a 22 gauge needle. Okay, can you see that right there? See. So what I do yeah, is, yeah. Uh, it's gonna get clotted up pretty fast. Take a bigger gauge. See that? Yeah. Well, what I do is I actually kind of play around a little bit to see if I can change. And then I even put a little pressure over here and since it's slowing down a little bit, oh, actually, there it goes. It's picking up. There we go. I can just feel it. The syringe is giving. So I'm on the right plane. Once again, Dr. Moore here, removing a post-surgical hemarthrosis or effusion, which is not an uncommon situation following the type of surgery that was done here post-surgically. And I do this because I know that my patient will feel better tonight. And they're... Uh, and the rehabilitation will move a little faster. So that's what we're doing here. Post-surgical care, uh, aspirating effusion. Was that very painful? Not at all, man. Really? Not at all. And, and my patient was not paid to say that. No. Yeah. So see, this syringe is going to be full. It's going to take probably two of these syringes. So I'll continue to do this. Just wanted to show folks how when an aspiration is done correctly, it doesn't have to hurt that much. You guys take care. Have a great day. And we are on. Okay, so I did the aspiration just now, post-surgical aspiration. How did it go? Absolutely. This is something I've been afraid of for a long time as an athlete is to get aspirated with the fluid in my knee. <laughs> I thought it would be a possibility today. He's a great doctor. And I'm telling you right now, don't be afraid. It was painless. He, he nice. has the way to distract you. The needles, it was great. I actually feel 100 times better relief. I don't mind doing it again. So let me show the knee. Go ahead and move it around a little bit. So you think you can move it around a little bit better already? Honestly, from what you just did, I feel like I can walk. All right, awesome. Okay, but we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take care of it and be uh, gentle with it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you letting me do this and letting me share it on social media so that everybody can know what, what, what we do yeah, and, so. and uh, to not be so terrified about getting the knee aspirated. Thank you so much, Stephen. Thanks, Doc.